so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We're asked to determine each composition of functions given f of x equals 2x minus 1 and g of x equals x squared minus 4. We first have f of g of x, which we rewrite using the alternate form shown here below, which is still f of g of x. And now we begin with the innermost function, g of x, and since we don't have a numerical input for g of x, we substitute the function rule for g of x, which is x squared minus 4, which gives us f of the quantity x squared minus 4. Again, because we did not have a numerical input for the inner function g of x, we substituted the function rule for g of x, which again is x squared minus 4. Now the function rule for g of x becomes the input into f of x, and since f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, we substitute x squared minus 4 for x, which gives us 2 times the quantity x squared minus 4 minus 1. And now we clear the parentheses by distributing and then combine like terms. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, giving us minus 8 and then minus 1, which simplifies to 2x squared minus 9 f of g of x is equal to 2x squared minus 9. Next we have g of f of x, which we write using the alternate form, which is still g of f of x, but in a different form. Again, because we don't have a numerical value to sub into the inner function f of x, we substitute the function rule for f of x, which is 2x minus 1, which gives us g of the quantity 2x minus 1, and now the function rule for f of x becomes the input into g of x, and since g of x equals x squared minus 4, we substitute 2x minus 1 for x, which gives us the square of 2x minus 1, and then minus 4. Now we need to multiply this out and combine like terms. To multiply it out, we write out two factors of 2x minus 1, and multiply, and then subtract 4. To multiply two binomials, we have four products, one, two, three, four. Two x times two x is four x squared. And then we have two x times negative one, which is negative two x. The next product is negative one times two x, which is also negative two x. Negative two x plus negative two x is negative four x, giving us minus four x. And then negative one times negative one is positive one, giving us plus one and then we have minus four. Combining like terms, we have four x squared minus four x, and one minus four is negative three, giving us minus three. G of f of x is equal to four x squared minus four x minus three. I hope you found this helpful.